Hello everyone, Attack Power here with some exciting reviews for the upcoming Men of Steel DLC. So let's dive right in here. I actually got special access into the Strike Team, which is the group of guys who like test the game and stuff, uh, and finally got some preview video. This is from Mickey, so thank you to him. I'm using this with permission from him. Took a nice little video. We're gonna pause and start and stuff, so I apologize it's not me clicking around, but he does look like he did a nice job of getting everything in here, and we'll talk about what we got going here. And this is the first special service brigade, is our first one we're gonna go into here and check out. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button subscribe and consider supporting down on patreon thanks a bunch and here we go so let's first check out here our uh slot layout so we have five slots recon not too shabby your infantry tab actually pretty expensive at the end here that the four point slot is almost useless like you really got to give up a lot to put a four point activation slot in your deck uh tanks you do have five tabs we'll see what we got to work with here uh your support tab pretty large uh and you can get five things relatively i mean once you get to three things are starting to get more expensive but one three is definitely reasonable two is starting to hurt a little bit anti-tank very light there very very light your anti-air, very huge. Wow, five ones cost slot, so you can definitely bring in a lot of anti-air. Uh, your artillery, solid. Yeah, this is a pretty average artillery tab. And your air tab, pretty generous as well with a lot of ones and twos. So let's check out what we got going on here. Now we have the Morris LRC, so little Boise anti-tank rifle. This thing's not amazing. It's very low penetration, pretty low damage as well. So nothing very exciting to see here. Probably won't get used, although you do get eight uh, with radio. So... And they do have armor. Actually, I could see this getting used. I actually can see this getting used for 15 points. Uh, they're 80 kilometers an hour. They got very high. Yeah, actually, this is actually pretty good. Now that I'm really looking at it. It's not for killing. It's for radio spotting and being annoying. Uh, with just that, that little Bren gun won't do much, but it does something. It can also, it can kill transports. Not like it can't. So, eh, actually pretty solid. Uh, commando sniper, two-man sniper team. Vet locked at two. Oh, I did forget to men mention this is all work in progress. So some of these things, there's still some mistakes. There's some things that are already fixed uh, that we don't see. So just just be aware. Some of these things are subject to change. Uh, continuing on, so we do have. Wait, is this? Oh, this is two snipers. This is a double sniper. Ooh, this is actually very good. This is very very good. Two snipers is always super strong, and it's only 20 points. Oh, this is like a Taka Ampoya. I don't want more of those in the game. And you get two cards of them. Wow, that's deadly. And a 100 kilometer an hour transport. All right, so these guys, 25 points. Whoa, look at that cool gun. A Lan uh, Lanchester. Lancaster? Lanchester? Not sure, but it doesn't matter. Looks like a solid submachine gun. Only 100 millimeter, uh, millimeter, I keep doing that. 100 meter range. Uh, let's compare it to the Thompson here. Now, you do get one more of these, so the, the uh, math doesn't work out. But Thompson does more damage, for sure. Uh, higher accuracy on the Thompson. Much higher fire rate, though. I know there are three of them, but even if you cut this down one, it would still be like 350 rounds a minute. So this is a fast rate of fire on this thing, so it might be good. Stens, eh, they're garbage. And a Brent automatic machine. So this isn't bad. It's got the commando. So we will see some new traits here. Commando uh, just basically buffs your unit in all different kinds of ways, including suppression resistance and a whole bunch of other stuff. Notice here, um, this it says 20 points. 25 points here on this card, but it says 20 points here. These are some of the mistakes. I have a feeling it's going to be 25 points. This is a pretty strong unit. It really shouldn't be 20 if that is the case. Uh, yes, nice. Continuing on here. Okay, comes a nice little five point transfer. Yeah, these are definitely the highlight of the recon section. Now we have the, uh, see if we can get it paused here in the right spot. Nope, doesn't look like we can. Let's back up a little bit, get back to that. Okay, uh, so anyway, one carbine, three rifles, a Vickers machine gun, and smoke. Uh, yeah, so like, again, this is, says 25 and 30 over here. I don't know. Oh, it's because... No, oh, the oh the tr personnel transports five points. I'm sorry, I didn't notice that in the last one. So maybe that's why... So this is 20 points? Wow. That, yeah, they're definitely still balancing, I'm sure. Uh, and this guy being 25 and this guy being 20 doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, this guy's fine. He, he is commando technically, so he should be a little deadly, but unless this is three snipers, which it is not, uh, I don't see this unit being super duper good. Scout's Piat, normal thing, comes in a willy. You can get a universe carry, which is pretty good. Uh, friend machine gun, this thing's fine, has a little armor. Staghound, Mark 1, nothing new, we've seen this before. Solid, really fast, got buffed a couple patches ago, so it's a lot more playable now that it's pretty cheap. Uh, so yeah. Good recon tab here overall, especially that double sniper. 
All right, now we got field engineers. These are normal. Uh, although they are phase locked, it looks like the phase B. So that's that's pretty big. You can't bring them in phase A. Uh, but I think a lot of times you actually want these guys in phase B. You get 18 of them unvetted, so they can be really quite good that way. So yeah, nothing super special. Oh, Bedfords. Ugh, that's gross. This new Commando NO4 Assault. So three Stens, four Thompsons, and a Willy Pete Flame Grenade. That's not AT, right? No, it's not. It's Willy Pete Flames. Yeah. Uh, commando unit. So this should be really quite deadly. Uh, this thing should shred a little bit because this is essentially a Molotov, but you get three of them. So that's really good. That is really, really good. Um, and four Thompsons, always good. Stens are terrible, but I mean, having an addition to the Thompsons is definitely great. Uh, I think this is only an 80 kilometer an hour uh, transport truck. Engineer leader, that's fine. We don't need to stop on this. Phase lock to B. Okay, let's see these new ones. RM Commando NO45. So three Thompson, seven rifles, a Bren, and a Piat. But it is a Commando. So remember, all these guys are getting like increased accuracy, suppression resistance, damage, all kinds of like stuff. I don't remember all the things they said they get. Uh, we'll go into it in depth in a later video. But yeah, it's they're just generally buffed up. Everything about them is stronger than normal. So yeah, this I mean, this is essentially a, a regular rifle team. You do get them one vet with nine for 20 points. So at 20 points, they're insanely good. Let me be very clear about that. They're insanely good. Uh, they're just nothing like outstanding on the card. All right, command. I, I skipped the leader here. It's a leader, nothing big. Uh, commandos, commando NO10 here. Three Thompson, eight rifles, and two Vickers. Once again, a commando. So yeah, this is a solid unit. I mean, double machine gun, 13 men for 25 points. That's, that's a nice loadout. I mean, all these commandos have been really strong. Even if, like, maybe not, like, the strongest actual unit, because of their cost, they are very strong. Uh, it really comes down to that. Yeah, it really comes down to that cost being pretty aggressive, especially, and if this commando trait's really strong. Commando NO3 here, two Thompsons, eight rifles, two machine guns, and a Boise rifle. That's pretty good. I mean, I mean, the, the Boise Antigua, like we said, is not anything incredible, but still... I mean, this one is 25 points, but that's still, this is still way above the curve for 25 points. If only Brens weren't horrible, then these units would like truly be terrifying. Maybe that's why they can't be good, because if they were good, all these guys would be absolutely insane. All right, Commando NO4 d com uh, demo, three Thompson, three rifles, a flamer, oh, and TNT. Uh, so we've seen this before in the Pianiti out of Fourth Alpine in the Axis side. The combo of flamer and grenade absolutely insane essentially unbeatable the the strongest things you can do in the woods in this game so this unit should be insanely good and you get a nice eight vet you get eight availability on one vet in a phase oh. and 16 in b phase oh that's dirty and their commandos just to make them more dangerous oh. ab paras we've seen these before you can only bring them in c phase but you do get a sniper rifle on these now uh assault engineers have we seen these before? I don't think we have. 12 men, they have shock. Shock increases your, uh, uh, what is it? Your suppression resistance at 180 meters or less. I don't think it actually increases damage or anything. It just it decreases your damage suppression, like your, 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 your suppression resistance. I think that's what it does. Um, so 10 rifles, the Bren, a Flamer, and a Piat. So this is a nice mix of weapons on this thing. It's not actually incredibly good at CQC. Having rifles instead of submachine guns really sucks. That really decreases their strength pretty significantly, actually. I mean, this will still be good, but mm, compared to some of the other stuff in here, I don't know if you'll find space for this. I'll be totally honest. And it's 30 points, so it's not cheap. Commando NO6. So this is a normal vet curve, 6, 12, 18. Uh, two Thompsons, nine Garands, a Bren, and a Sniper. This is very strong. 30 points, Commando, 13 men. Exceptional stealth. That's another thing with commando. It's the same as Raider. Uh, you get all the same stuff as Raider. So you get this exceptional stealth. Nine semi automatic rifles, much stronger than the, the Lee Enfield rifles. Some Thompson. This is a very strong squad. This is actually like strong all around, especially with the sniper. And then you have commando leader. It has a sniper and a Piat, which is fine. All right, now we have the RM Sherman. Only comes in A phase. You get six of them though on one vet. That's pretty high availability. Uh, this is an M4A1 Sherman. That's what it looks like to me. M4A1, it's only got the 90 millimeters of armor, which sucks. It's pretty slow. Yeah, 
nothing super crazy about this thing. Sherman DD, this is better. Comes in A as well. Uh, normal vet curve though, 75 points. Yeah, I mean, this is better. You have the better armor, so that's definitely an upgrade. But you get one less machine gun, take note. Normal Sherman 5 doesn't come in until B phase and Sherman 5 leader. And then you get one Firefly. Okay. So you have some AT in there. Two inch mortar, 20 point supply, which is nice. Vickers, Commando, Vickers regular, AVRE, Crocodile. These are B and C phase locked. Commander. Do I have this on three times? No, I don't. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Regular leader. So nothing crazy here. I mean, it's definitely nice. The issue is you still don't have any 2K HE. There's no 2K HE or you're stuck. Crocodile's not. AVR, he is 500 meter. <laughs> so it's not. It definitely is not. Your Vickers go 1,000. So you don't even have 1250. Like you are 1,000 meters and less of support. So that's, that's really rough. Really, really rough in the support tab. All right, AT, Piots. They don't come in till B phase though. Not that that's terribly disappointing. They're Piots. Now, Commando Tank Buster, for a, a four-man team with a Piot and a TNT for 20 points. Okay, yeah, I can dig that. I don't know what they're, they come in at like normal, four. So you get four in A phase, and they come in the 100 kilometer an hour vehicle. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Piot's not, but it, it it's okay. It's 20 points, and you do get some Thompson and TNT with it. So this thing can defend itself, which is really nice. And it's technically a Commando, so yay. That means it's much better. Wolverine, only C phase though. 17 pounder, only C phase. Achilles is the only thing you can bring in A phase. Wow, that's brutal. So this Achilles is the only thing in A phase. The 17 pounder is not till C. Wolverine, not till C. Oh, so you can maybe go Achilles in A, Firefly in B, and then the rest in C. Ugh. And this does not feel like a balance deck to me. So like, ah, ah. That's harsh. That's really, really harsh. I will say though, it does not look like they're slapping much of a premium on this this commando uh, trait. I have to wonder if it's not as big of an effect as we think, or if they just don't care about it being super OP. Hmm. Anyway, Polston, don't care. Try Polston, solid AA piece doesn't come until B. Bofors, 40 mil. The tracked one comes in an a so that's nice whoopsies oopsies 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 i forgot that i was gonna like scroll and it's not it's not me so both thirds you get crusader aas these are pretty phenomenal these are great especially the a mark one because it comes with the bofors on it so that's really good and then you bofors a with the tri polston and then you get the 94 millimeter which is a super good 2k uh but this doesn't come until c either oh oh not not a huge fan this is rough. This is the, it's the locking, this phase locking these divisions have to deal with is really painful. And it's not like it's great setup to start. Uh, uh. All right, let's check out the arty tab here. Spotters. Now, artillery leaders now have a new trait called artillery leader, which decreases the dispersion of your artillery if your leader is next to the artillery. So basically, it's a new buff that artillery leaders can give to actual artillery, which is nice because artillery leaders were basically like just infantry leaders before. It was like, why are they even called artillery leaders? So this is a nice change. Uh, you'll now have to choose, though, because if you put your artillery leader next to your artillery, they're not on the front lines giving radio. So could be tough. Now, commando <laughs> three inch mortar, 81 mil mortar. So it has commando. I'm not sure if that helps. I don't think it does for mortar, but maybe I missed something in the explanation of what Commando does. Give me a sec. Let me look really quick. I'm sorry for doing this in the middle. I should have looked earlier. Commando's 20% damage resilience at 180 meters, 20% stress resilience, and all raider bonuses. Okay, so it doesn't really do anything for this at all. The damage resistance is really strong, though. Like, that's really strong. Centaur. Okay, what do we got going on here? So we have a... This is your 2K unit right here. Ah, did it again. This is your 2K unit. You do get three of them. They are indirect fire, though, too. 
but honestly, I have a feeling you're probably using this as direct fire support. This is your 2k HE, but it can be really nice because it can sit outside of 2k HE and do some major damage, and it does have radio, so this is a very, very good unit. Yeah, very good unit for 70 points. 381 millimeter off map, barf, don't even want to look at it. 127, barf, die, I hope you never get played. All right, let's see here. Wildcat, crappy fighter, don't care, we don't want that. Black Widow, ooh, that looks cool. Heavy fighter, 420 mil, so it should strafe pretty well. It's got medium resilience, 580 kilometers an hour. It's pretty zippy, but it doesn't come until B, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, C fire, cool. C fire, so this is the, it's like a Spitfire, right? But the machine gun is worse. It's got very good agility, good agility bad resilience. Eh, it's not even that fast. Yeah, not super excited about that. Not really excited about that. Hellcat. It's a Hellcat. We've seen around. Medium resilience is pretty good. Normal Spitfire, but it doesn't come until B. Okay, so it so the Seafire does have the same loadout as the Spitfire, but it goes way slower. Although the Spitfire mark, what is that, 14? Might be a little too fast. This might be a bit too fast. 680, you're going to overfly a lot of planes. Although it does have an okay loadout. I don't know if it's going to shoot things down going by that fast. But yeah, phase lock. Hellcat bomber. You can get him in eight. Looks like you get three. Okay bomb loadout with two 113. So this will kill most things you need to be killed. It won't kill an infantry squad in one shot, but it will kill like a support gun or an AT gun. Medium resilience. That's great. So this is a good fight. This is a good fighter bomber. Very fast too. So this, this is a pretty solid fighter bomber. That is not bad. But 130 points is very expensive. Hellcat with bigger bombs. Okay. Still good, just even more expensive. Hellcat with rockets, probably will never use it. Pro probably not, not at 140 points. Hellcat with even bigger, bigger bombs, probably will never use it. Uh, Hellcat with AT rockets, you're probably going to need it. In A for two of them. I would almost say you almost need this in A. I don't know how else you survive A phase, like, like AT-wise. They kill your two Achilles or your two Fireflies, and you, you just can't kill stuff anymore. Like, seriously, think about that. Your opponent has a Tiger or Panther or a T-3485 even, you lose your Achilles or your Fireflies in A, whichever you decide to bring in A, you have no more AT. Like, you have no more. There is none. Zero. Your Shermans are not AT. They're crap. What do you do? Cry? I think you just cry. I think the answer is you just start crying. So, yeah. Should be... Int I mean, this, thing, this division should absolutely shred on, like, Cell or Orsha North. You know, but Orsha North, maybe the middle. Orsha East might be okay. Um, but anything with open ground, this division is going to just be so painful. I mean, if you can make it to C phase, it could get better with the 17 pounders and the, the Killy or in the uh, Wolverines, maybe. But if not, hiya, hiya. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.